Hi, this is Jonathan Bukhara for Free and C++. Today I'm going to share with you a technique to write more expressive code and it consists in reading good code and in particular good interfaces. Now I'm going to show you why this works and then I'm going to show you where exactly to look for good interfaces where you can take inspiration for your own code. So why does this work? I believe that there's an analogy between um, writing code and writing English, as in like plain text. Um, you know, to write proper English, uh, a good way to go about that is to read good English. Like if you consistently read like Charles Dickens, for example, then your English is going to improve. And you're going to see it through the English that you write. I believe that the same, things, the same thing goes with code. Um, so reading good code and reading good interfaces is going to give you inspiration for writing your own code. Um, so I'm going to give you uh, three places uh, which are available for free where you can go look at good code and take inspiration from them and then a fourth one at the end which is much more advanced. So the first one is the STL. The STL is the part of the standard library that deals with um, algorithms operating on collections of things. Um, so the STL is very well written. Knowing it is fundamental for writing expressive code in C++. If you go and learn it, and I strongly advise you to do so, you are going to benefit from it in two ways. The first one is that you can use it in your own code and make it shorter, more expressive, more robust. Um, but the second way you're going to benefit from it is that Knowing what's in the STL gives you a model, a model to think about what kind of abstraction is good to put in place in code in general. So when you go and read that, when you learn what's in the STL and particularly what's in the algorithms section in the STL, you're going to be inspired subconsciously almost um, and you're going to write good abstractions, better abstractions from that. Now, if you want to learn the STL, there's the STL learning resource that's available at fluentcpp.com STL. It's packed full of articles to learn how the STL works and to learn the algorithm quickly and as easily as I could find it possible to do. Now, the second thing I want you to go look at is Boost. Boost. So Boost, it's a huge library, it's a, it's a collection of libraries, really. Um, that's a very high quality. To get into Boost takes so much time and reviews. Um, Beast has been accepted to Boost a couple of weeks ago, and I believe it's, it's gone through more than 10 or 15 rounds of review, I think, which is huge. And so people pay attention to details and particularly in the interfaces for Boost libraries. So if you go and look at Boost and, and learn what's in it, in, in particular in terms of the interfaces in Boost, then you're gonna get more inspiration for your own code. And that's true even, even for your, your own business code, even if it's not as low level as, as what Boost is or the SCL is. If you want to learn what's in Boost, I can recommend this resource. It's a book from Boris Schelling and it presents um, quite a lot of Boost libraries in a way that's very accessible. It really shows you what, what a library, what, what, what the interfaces of a library are about. It's free, it's online, you can buy it as well. Um, now, it's a book, so it's been published at some point and it's complete. Therefore, um, it doesn't have all the recent libraries like HANA, for example, or Beast. Um, so if you want to stay on top of what's happening in Boost, there are two easy ways to do that. The first one is go check the subreddit of C++. Um, 
it's when, when, whenever something happens in Doos, something uh, remarkable, it, you're sure that it's going to be all over this subreddit. It's going to be discussed in details. You, you, you're going to know what's, what's going on, really. And the second way to get on top of what's happening in Boost and get on top of what's happening in the C++ community as a whole is CPPcast. It's a podcast, it's a podcast um, hosted by Rob Irving and, and Jason Turner. And it's quite a good way to, to know what's going on in the C++ community and in particular in Boost when there's a, a remarkable library coming in, then they always have somebody who's been involved <coughs> in, in the show and they talk about the library and they tell you what it's about and a bit of history. It's, it's quite interesting. So Reddit and, 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 and CPPcast. Now, the third thing I recommend you go look at is the next version of the language. At the time I'm recording this video, um, the latest version of C++ is C++17. So even if you don't have the latest version of C++ in your code, in production, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You should go out and look what's in it because getting into the standard is even harder than getting into Boost and that is a lot. So what's in the standard is the result of a consensus of the committee. committee. <clears throat> and uh, it's very high quality and that's where the language is going to. So you want to know that, to write code that goes in the same direction as the one the language takes. So go check C++17 if you want a useful resource to go take that easily. Um, the one I particularly like is the, um, the blog of Bartek, Bartek's blog. He's made a cheat sheet um, for all the features of C++17 that you can download for free. Um, it's really packed with useful information and there's a load of posts on the topic of C++17 on Bartek's blog that you can check and you can really go and, and look at what's in the language in a very accessible way. Right, now the fourth and last um, place I recommend to go to read good code and write expressive code by inspiration um, is the range library. The range library is the future of the STL. Today it's not in the standard yet, it's a library. Uh, it's written by Eric Nibbler. You can go check it on GitHub. And if you can, if you've got if you, if you can read that kind of C++ because it's pretty advanced, then I definitely recommend to do so. Do so. Delve into the implementation of the ranges. It's beautiful, really. I mean, I like reading it just like I like read a good novel, really. Um, and that too, it gives you examples of people that worked hard to get to a high level of standards for quality in their C++ code. This is it. Go check the STL, Boost, C++17, and for the more advanced things, the range library. There are, of course, plenty of other resources available online um, to read good code, but these are the one I've, I've chosen for today. So this is it. If you liked the video, just subscribe to the channel and put a thumb up. That'd be helpful. And I'll see you next time.